Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much for the honor and the opportunity to share today. The Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we were established in 1890. So we celebrating 130 years in operation. We part of the International Chamber of Commerce in Paris. So we have access to about 14,000 chambers globally. And at JCC, our, our international trade, we focus on facilitating and coordinating international events. So we arrange two to three international events every month where we invite the high commissioner or the ambassador to give an overview on the bilateral trade opportunities. And we will have a logistics company, a banking institution giving the presenting the complete trading cycle. And then we'll have two companies just ex uh, sharing the experience of trading in that region. And we have had events with Tanzania and we're looking forward to strengthening our collaboration with Tanzania and taking it to the next level. And also besides uh, the international events we have, we also run a global export accelerator in partnership with GIZ on behalf of the German government and Quodium Asset Management. There we, we have we receive the applications from all the SMEs, then we go through an assessment process, we identify the suitable candidates, and then our business specialists will actually do an assessment and we'll put together a mentorship program looking at issues like financial management, product development, looking at the packaging, the labeling, and then we'll also look at sales and marketing, negotiating skills, we look at your intellectual property. So it's everything pertaining to your business and to make it sustainable. Then we will introduce our SMEs to all the export skills, INCO terms, types of payment, and also how to, whether to um, appoint a distributor or an agent. And then once our <coughs> SME is ready to export, we will do a feasibility study to identify suitable markets for our SME. And then we will take into account the free trade agreements and all other factors that help us identify suitable markets. And we have very good contacts with the Department of Trade and Industry. In fact, uh, Mr. John Rusher, we work closely with them and also local organizers where we, we actually negotiate on behalf of our SMEs to showcase their products at these exhibitions and also all the international exhibitions as well. And then we also focus a lot on networking because it's very important in the whole cycle. So we invite all our SMEs to all to these two to three international events we have every month and we give them an opportunity to network. And we're also in the process now of establishing a trade portal where we're going to link with the chambers throughout Africa and we can exchange inquiries, we can change projects or any big, um, any tenders, we can exchange it on this portal and this will be made available amongst the chambers in Africa. So we're quite excited about this trade portal. And just a I actually have been with JCCI 15 years. I started as an SME. I was looking to expand my business and um, I saw this opportunity with the JCCI and International Trade Center um, and sponsored by the Canadian government. And through the program, I was able to access about 20 countries in Africa, secured major deals with ministries of health. 2011, we were export of the year. So, JCCI and the International Trade Center really gave my business an opportunity to expand and also to, to access the markets in Africa. And in three and a half years ago, I was offered the position of head of international trade. And I've just been advised this week that I've been offered the position of CEO at the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce. So that in a nutshell is my history, my walk with the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry. So we're looking forward to establishing close collaboration with Tanzania and all our sister chambers in Africa where we can cooperate, we can collaborate and we can actually build that ecosystem that's, that we, we, can, we can empower each chamber, we can empower our members because the chamber movement is also very essential. It started in Marseille 400 years ago and it was established for traders and merchants where they could exchange ideas and trade. 
and this movement has really grown and it's just our, our, our vision that we even take this chamber movement to another level where the chambers have an existing infrastructure and they have a database of members that have been through different checks. So if an, an importer or a potential investor is looking to contact a partner to go through the chambers, there's already that database and already that infrastructure with the chambers. So I think we can really build on this infrastructure. We can really build on this collaboration with the chambers. And I look forward to having an event with Tanzania Chamber. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Bernadette. I've got only one question for you. Mm. Do you have an existing agreement uh, with the chamber in Tanzania? We we have MOUs, but it's, I think we definitely would like to, to um, refresh that. And we definitely would like to actually in the, in the first quarter of 2021 to actually have a trade day, because I see definitely you know, with SADAC and, I, and also with the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, I just see so much advantage and benefit for us to have this trade day and where we can share the bilateral trade opportunities and where members and the SMEs and you can really benefit by bilateral trade opportunities. And we always at the chamber, we focus on bilateral. It has to be win-win for both countries. Mm. Absolutely. Mr. Pessy, uh, Messi Filippo, uh, I don't know if you're still there. Uh, the proposition here is that uh, by the first quarter of next year, something needs to happen between uh, the two of these two organization. Are you taking up that offer? Of course, we're taking it up. And we are looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so much, my Rose, love. Rosemary, <laughs> over to you. <laughs> Sorry, can I just also, I forgot to mention, we also, with GIZ and Quonium, we also run a woman in business desk. We've run the creative industry sector as well, fashion, jewelry, crafts, gaming, and animation, agri-processing. So our next phase is where we take the specialized expert training and we focus on that expert training in the next phase of our incubator as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Thank you. And probably what we also forgot to mention from my side is congratulations on, uh, on the CEO position. And it's, it's quite inspiring to see how you have really worked yourself up to, to the hands. And I think it's in your passion and it really, really comes through. I think you're an asset to, to South Africa. You're an asset to the continent. Thank you so much, Benedict. Thank you for those kind words. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.